Welcome everyone to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and in this video we're going to be doing a set review for the new Bionic Raiders armor set but before we do that I just want to quickly address that of course the uploads haven't been consistent really I think my last video was like three months ago or something and before that they were really weaning off and I think that's just because I was getting really busy with school and real life stuff but now that summer is here and we got the uh, Dantooine Incursion update and the Onslaught expansion is just around the bend I'm quite excited to get back into making a few more videos. Probably I'm going to upload like once every week or, or try for that. I've got some actually really cool and interesting videos coming that I haven't really seen with a lot of other Sorter content creators. So I'm quite excited to get those videos out as well. And so hopefully we'll see some of you guys come back and, and watch some of my content again. Because I know when you go away for like three months, it's hard to get your audience back. But hopefully you guys will start enjoying some of the stuff that I'm doing. This one's just a basic video though. I'm going to try to keep it as short and sweet as possible. I just wanted to look at some of these new Platinum Armor sets because... Actually, I think the design and the concepts behind a lot of these are cool. I'm not a big fan of the price tag. They're like 2,600 cartel coins, which is $26 US. And their GTN costs tend to run as high as like 50 to 80 million credits. Some of them do drop like to 35 million. All of that is still insanely expensive. Of course, the ideal scenario is seeing some of this stuff actually be available through in-game uh, events and stuff like that. But of course, that's more of a pipe dream at this point. It's a... Probably a big money maker for Bioware. In any case, let's ignore all of that. Let's just get into the actual design of this item. So the Crimson or the Bionic Raiders armor set, uh, the kind of cool gimmick with this one is the effect that the helmet has. So when you unsheath your weapon, you're going to get your little eye, the robotic eye, pop out and become a little robot that revolves around you. And that's kind of the one cool gimmick of this one. And the reason I say that is because all of the Platinum armor sets that have been released recently tend to have one cool unique thing about them that really sets it apart from the other ones. The last one, and I do want to pop this one up on here as well, because it was really cool, was the uh, Sovereign Executioner's Armor Set. And that one had your four mechanical arms pop out of your back whenever you unsheath your weapon. Now, I do want to mention that the design for this one, I've got to say, is a little bit hideous. Like, I would never really, I don't know, wear it. But I do think the concept or the idea behind it is really cool. And I'm excited to see what Bioware can do with this one in terms of maybe having a nicer design, but the same kind of idea where you have like these arms pop out of your back. I thought it was really cool though. I do want to quickly showcase it in this video for those of you who haven't already seen it, although most of you guys have probably already seen it. So in terms of going back to the Bionic Raiders armor set, the rest of the armor is, is okay in terms of its design. I do like how the upper body armor has those glowing red kind of... Uh, tubes on them i do kind of i'm a sucker for that kind of stuff where you have like visual effects on your actual armor pieces i do love that one of the things that i also love is that mini side cape and the one that you see here is kind of what i'm talking about it's similar to the cassis fett one which is where it's kind of a mini cape that only kind of hangs around one half of your shoulder i do think that that's actually a really neat design especially fits well with a lot of a, a, a good bounty hunter theme or something and so i think this whole armor set in general looks really much like a something a bounty hunter would wear but aside from the upper body armor and the helmet, I don't see anything too special with the boots and the, the gloves or the you know pants or anything. But um, all in all, once again, I really think it's up to the helmet to really sell this armor set. I do think that d that uh, specific visual effect of having your eye actually pop out and kind of move around you is really cool. And obviously as you're walking, as you're fighting, that little droid thing is just going to be around with you. So cool gimmick, probably not worth the price tag, but what I would recommend is if you do like that, just try to focus on getting the helmet. So check the GTN, see if maybe just the helmet falls at a decently low enough price. I could envision it maybe being like 10 to 15 million credits or something if it's just on the GTN as a single item. Uh, just for reference, like you can probably find the Callus Conqueror's mask, which is another really, really nice platinum rarity mask. And it tends to only go for like 5 to 10 million on this on Satil Sean. So if there's only one piece of the armor set you want, uh, you can actually get it for a relatively affordable price. So that's what I would recommend. I would say disregard the rest of this armor set. I mean, it's cool, but probably once again, not worth the price tag. Same thing for the Sovereign Executioner's armor set. The upper body armor is the only thing associated with the visual effect. So maybe looking at just trying to find that if you don't have the credits or the cartel coins to, to purchase the entire armor set. In any case, I will end the uh, the video there. I did just want to have this video up there to kind of introduce you guys back to my channel, show you guys I'm uploading again, and then I'll work on some other videos going into the future. And once again, I do want to focus on some more unique content, like more uh, opinion-based videos, but also 
some stuff that maybe you wouldn't expect to see from a lot of other Soldier content creators. As you can also see, I've kind of strayed away from doing news videos just because on one hand, it's difficult for me to keep up with all the news just because of my time constraints. But on the other hand, I do kind of want to focus on more individualized content. So hopefully you guys are going to be excited for that coming into the future as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.